Hello! Today I met up with my wonderful friends, Alice, her daughter Nanetta, and Mrs. Quigley. We were having an absolutely splendid time awaiting our food when we had a surprising encounter over our time together. I have received a letter from Sir John Falstaff, a very big man, if I might add. This was a letter of John Sir Falstaff expressing his love for me. Little did I know, Alice had received the same letter. This is preposterous. He must think we're weak-minded to think that we wouldn't figure out Alice and I had the same letter. What kind of person sends the same letter confessing love to two different people, let alone friends? His ta tactic is very flawed, if you ask me. Coming to a conclusion on what to do with the letter and the information us lovely ladies gathered, over our time together today, we decided that punishment was the best way to go with this situation. He played us and it's time for us to play him back. We have decided to trick him. We will make him fall into a trap that has been set up. We use Alice to lure him into the house around two or three because that's when Ford is at home. Miss Quickly what played a huge part in this entire trap, you could say. Miss Quickly to delivered the news to Sir John Falstaff and Gracie gave him a reply from both Alice and I. We wanted to make sure there was absolutely no suspicion that he had known about the dreadful letters he had sent pre previously. When Miss Quickly got back, I was so ecstatic to hear all the details between her and Sir John Falstaff's encounter. She immediately shared the details and shared that he had taken the bait. John Sir Falstaff believed everything that came out of her mouth. I can't wait till we can make a fool out of him. The next thing I know, Nanetta walks in with such a sad presence. Miss Quickly and I needed to, Alice and I, needed to find out what was terribly wrong. She said that her father wants her to marry a doctor. That Ford's crazy for thinking she's going to marry that man. He's twice her age and honestly could very well be her grandfather. Oh, but Ford doesn't seem to care too much about that now. But it seems that Falstaff has arrived and we need to set up our trap. We delicately all chipped in to help set up everything and it was absolutely perfect. Nanetta is gonna be was lookout while we waited for our laughter to begin. Falsaf finally arrived and I played my part and I could barely keep my composure. I was laughing so hard. The trap couldn't have gone any better. The timing was so sharp, he was even dumb enough to get into the laundry hamper. <clears throat> the thrill of tricking Falstaff was a great feeling. Falstaff got what he had coming to him. 